Okay, welcome back. Uh, I've been on vacation on the beach for a week and my tolerance is... So what a better way to uh, get back into the reviewing than starting with a Dougla. Mm. Got this from Tom, Thai Chili Head. And uh, not looking forward to this, but this, not looking forward to it, but I'm extremely curious to see what this is like. So we're gonna try it. Let's cut it open and see what we get. This one's got a little baby inside. You can see that. Has a very chemical smell. Let's see. Yep, definitely evil looking. I'm using two cameras again. I'm not going to take a chance that this one disappears again, like the last one for the Jonah. So, looking at this, I can just see this thing covered with placenta, with oil. Definitely an evil looking pepper here. So, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, Tom asked me to try and eat a whole pod. <laughs> I reread my. Uh, seven pod Jonah looking pod that uh, uh, Buddy sent me and I pretty much talked myself out of a whole pod. Slicing this open I can see that I've once again talked myself out of it. Uh, but uh, well, let's taste it and see where we get. So I'm going to cut off, I'm going to leave some good placenta on here but I'm going to try quarter of this here. Ooh, you can see the oil on there. See, I don't know if you can see the oil reflecting off of there. Can you get a good shot of that? But uh, let's see, there we go. It's kind of shiny and so. Okay. Here's a better shot of the uh, interior of the other pod. Again, not a lot of placenta from the seed pot on this one, but definitely on the walls. So, here we go. Okay. Flavor, pretty chemically. Not a lot of flavor. Typical seven pod. Whew. Already hot, you can tell. Feel a rush of heat. I'm gonna chew this one really good. <clears throat> Already, back of the throat, not burning, but I just feel the fumes just smoldering. It's gonna be hot. I'm still, right now, I'm just amazed that Ed was able to get a whole one of these. I can imagine the pain he was in because just this quarter piece here is going to crush me, I think. Definitely hot. Okay, let's finish up. Whew. Biting into it. Feel the vapors. Flavor. Not that good at all. Uh -huh. Just kind of uh, chemically, really not sweet, not not like a chocolate hat where it's real neutral and kind of you don't know why it tastes good. It just does. This one really just doesn't taste that good. It doesn't taste bad, but just kind of chemically, you can taste the cat capsicum. Uh, got the drool going now.
starting to get some heat now. We're at five minutes. Yeah, the, the main thing I'm noticing here, flavor doesn't compare to to the like to the brain strain or the SR or to the other brown that I had. Or uh, now the heat's starting. Same thing as last time. I ate it about two minutes. And then the blowtorch started about five, six minutes. So very similar to the to the uh, Jonah that Buddy sent me, or the red pot, red seven pot that Jonah sent me. Buddy sent me. Whew. Very hot. Low torch, back in the throat. Some uh, can feel it in the stomach now, more so than any of the other. Well, no, the, I remember the Primo was pretty bad in the stomach. This one, throat's actually not as bad, but with the upper half of the mouth, much worse than any of the other seven pods. The uh, roof of the mouth, the back of the throat. I may have some more of this tomorrow with some friends that wanted to try it. Just wanted to make sure I got a good taste of this before they uh, started getting old. But they look pretty fresh. Uh, Tom said he picked these on the 28th. So, have a nice... Good cool, but man, these... The, the burn is... Uh, let me get it out of here. I hope I didn't just flip that around and get my nose. Um, the blowtorch is actually on my tongue, on the back roof of my mouth, on the back of the roof of my mouth, and on the throat. Don't normally feel that blowtorch feeling throughout the whole mouth. Um, it's usually just on the back of the throat, and then the mouth and uh, the tongue is tolerable. Lots of drool. Oh, but again, flavor on these, kind of disappointed, although when something this hot, I can't imagine it tasting, can't imagine it tasting that good. Uh, the chocolate seven that I had that was so delicious, it gave me a nice burn on the back of the throat, but it wasn't on the same level as the, as this one or the buddy's uh, seven pod and uh, I think the flavor was able to come through a lot more Whew. I can feel it in the throat or in the, in the stomach now real warm strong yeah. flavor Again, it's just really like the best way to describe it is a chemical flavor. It's not sweet. It's not earthy. It has a little bit of a have a little bit of a, like a naga smell, but man, it just smells hot. You really can smell that oil. You can see it just oozing. This thing is brutal. I think it's pretty much peaked now. About nine minutes, similar to the red. Uh, I know I ate a lot more of that red one than I did at this one. So I think this one's actually hotter than the red one uh, that Buddy sent me because I had a smaller piece of this and burning just as much. A lot of sweat. I can feel my head just feels super, super sweaty and hot, like, a, like I have a, like a fever. <sighs> Stomach hurts a lot more than normal. Normally it takes a few more minutes before the stomach pain hits. Another Kleenex. <sighs> Man. I think some of these I'm going to dry 
crush them into powder and see what they're like. Fresh, they definitely are not uh, something I see using like in a salsa or anything. Um, not that you would normally use a seven pot in a salsa, but especially these, uh, they're just not flavorful enough. They have a ton of seeds. I'm impressed. Uh, you can see there. Um, pretty, pretty thick wall, kind of crunchy. Has the same texture as like a, like a chocolate naga. Ooh, stomach's really starting to hurt now. Feel it in the gut. Throat, uh, throat burns gone. But yeah, now I feel it in the stomach. Hopefully, I'll be able to uh, get up tomorrow. Okay, well, I don't want to drag this on. Right up there with Buddy's seven. I think it's actually a little bit hotter just because I had a smaller piece. And it gave me the same. The mouth burn was worse. Throat burn, just a hair under the red, but again, smaller piece. And this one just smells t three times more evil than that. Any of the other peppers I've ever had. So smell-wise, this is definitely the worst. <laughs> as far as smelling hot and evil. Okay, thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.